Hi, this is Len from LeanPub, and in this video I'm going to talk you through setting up and writing a book on LeanPub using our plain text editor writing mode. When you're done watching this video, you'll know how to create a new LeanPub book, how to write in our plain text editor, and how to create a preview of your ebook with the click of a button. To get started, click the blue button to create a new book. We make it really easy to set up a new book, and later on you can change everything you do at this stage. On this page, you can give your book a title, Select a web address for the book's public web page on LeanPub, and you can select a language for your book. You can also choose a template book theme. If your book doesn't quite match our three categories, don't worry about it. These themes can be used for books on any subject. These are just suggestions based on our experience and established conventions in the book publishing industry for page sizes. For example, technical books tend to have bigger page sizes than novels do. And if you get a standard or pro plan, you can customize your theme to your liking. Next, you'll see our writing modes. In this video, we're going to use the in-browser plain text editor writing mode, which is selected by default. If you choose a standard or pro plan, you can actually switch back and forth between writing modes any time. Underneath the writing modes is where you can select a LeanPub plan. Check out the options to see which one works best for you. Next, we give you a form where you can enter information if you're not already signed in and you need to create a new LeanPub account. We recommend you pick a username that matches what you do on social media if you're active on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. Next, enter your payment information if you've selected a paid plan. You can pay on our form with Visa or MasterCard, or you can check out with PayPal if you want to pay another way. You don't need a PayPal account to pay with PayPal. Alright, let's click the blue button and create this book. When you create a new book, we take you to a page with some helpful information for getting started. We recommend you give this page a good read at some point, but in this video, we're just going to dive in and click the link to go to the in-browser text editor. This is where you'll be writing your book. We hope everything is pretty intuitive, but a quick tour should give you the basics you need to get writing. At the left is a list of your files in the order they'll appear in your book. Click on Chapter 1. This will take you to the first chapter of the default content LeanPub provides to help you get started with each new book. Chapter 2 has some examples showing you how easy it is to format your book in Markua, our plain text syntax for writing books. If you're unfamiliar with writing in plain text, it might seem a bit intimidating, but it's actually an old practice. It's kind of like typing on a typewriter. For example, the reason you could underline things on an old typewriter was to indicate to your publisher that you wanted the underlined part to appear in italics in the finished book. Writing a book in Markua is just like that. For example, to tell LeanPub's book generators you want something to appear in italics in your book, you put an asterisk where you want the italics to begin, and then another one where you want them to end. Okay, now that we've seen some plain text, let's go create a preview to see what the book will look like. To go to the preview page, just click the preview link at the top of this page. The preview page is where you can generate previews of your book that only you can see. So even after you publish the first version of your book, you can make changes and see how they look in a preview before publishing the changes and making them available to all your readers. All you need to do to create a preview from your book manuscript is click the blue button. It will take a moment to publish your book, so I'm going to take this opportunity to point out that LeanPub has lots of great support channels for authors. We have an author's forum where you can join the LeanPub author community asking and answering questions. We also have a Markua manual where you can find out everything you need to know about how Markua works. And we have a dedicated author help center. You can access all of this from the footer. Okay, it looks like the book generation process has completed. Now you'll see links to download the various versions of your book we have created for you. There's a PDF version for reading on computers, an EPUB version for reading on iOS and Android, and a Mobi version for reading on Kindle. Let's click the link at the top to have a look at the PDF. This is what the default cover of a LeanPub ebook looks like in PDF. It's not pretty, but it is generic, and we encourage you to create and upload a cover you like as soon as you're ready. At the end of this video, we'll show you where you need to go to upload your cover and get the details you need to create one. Okay, let's just page in. First, you'll see some default information we add to the front of every book. On the next page, you'll see the table of contents that we generate automatically from your manuscript. You can customize the table of contents, like whether or not you see subsections here, if you have a standard or pro plan. The next page is chapter 1. You can see here that it matches the content we saw when we were looking at the manuscript in the plain text editor. Okay, now that we know how to do previews, let's go back to the plain text editor and do some writing. Now that we're back on LeanPub, we can navigate to the writing page using the navigation at the top of the page. Once you're here, click on Chapter 1 in the menu at the left. To start, let's just type something simple here. Hello world! 
Any changes you type in the editor will be saved automatically. Next, let's delete a chapter. Click on the left side of the screen to bring back the chapter menu. Hover your mouse over Chapter 3 and click on the gear wheel icon you'll see in the File Settings box. As you can see, you can rename a file here and you can delete it too. Let's hit that big scary red delete button. Bye bye Chapter 3. Okay, let's create a new file to replace it. To create a new chapter, click on the plus sign in the menu at the left. Let's call this file Conclusion. Okay, now let's type something in our new file. Now that we've done some writing of our own, let's go back and make a new preview. While we're waiting for LeanPub's happy little book generators to make our new preview, I'd like to introduce you to our Front Matter podcast. On the Front Matter podcast, we interview LeanPub authors about their lives, their areas of expertise, their books, and at the end of each interview, we discuss the author's experience writing and publishing. It's a fun and interesting way to learn about everything from data science to founding startups and a whole lot more. I absolutely love hosting this podcast, where each interview is deeply researched so we can really get to know the author and their work. Okay, let's go back to the preview page and click the link to download our new preview. If we just go in a couple of pages, we'll see our little hello world message, and further in we'll see our conclusion. Okay, you're ready to go writing and previewing. One last thing I wanted to show you is the overview page for the book. In the menu at the top when you're working on your book, you can go to the overview page under book info. On this page, you can see all the menu items for your book in one place. As I promised earlier, you can find the link to the cover upload page here, for instance. Okay, thanks for watching, and happy writing.